The presenting sponsor for our 2013 Military Appreciation Honor. With Friends University, here is Sean Hannon. Good evening, everybody. Thanks for coming out here tonight. First, I'd like to uh, thank all our men and women in uniform and our veterans. Let's give them a round of applause. Thanks for serving. Thanks for everything you do for us. So I'd like to thank all of our alumni who are visiting here tonight. We've got about 75 to 100 friends alumni from all over the state of Kansas. Coming down here somewhere up there, coming to visit us. Uh, we also have a bunch of uh, inviting guests, so uh, I'd like to thank everybody for coming out tonight. Uh, make sure you stop by our tent. Uh, we've got some rally towels for just about everybody here tonight. Uh, thanks again. Let's have a great day and enjoy it. Thank you. And please join me now in welcoming T-Bone's president, Adam Ellert. Thank you, Dan. Ladies and gentlemen, on behalf of my family, thank you for being here for Military Appreciation Night. My father served in the Marine Corps, and Military Appreciation Night is hands down his favorite event of the year at the Navy American Ballpark. Now, unfortunately, this year, the only thing keeping him away is the 100th anniversary celebration of his alma mater. Uh, but after this year, he'll be back for many years forward. But in thinking about his service, I realized my dad didn't talk much about his service when, when I was young. In fact, he didn't talk about it at all. But in the years that have passed, and there have been many since then, uh, 40 some actually since he was in Vietnam, in the years that have passed, it's been fascinating for me to see the, the internal recognition and the pride, I think, uh, as he realized what he and his compatriots did in their service, and frankly, what generations of servicemen and women before him have offered. Now, looking at tonight's ceremony, I'm struck by one thing. My dad's service was not optional. And so, as I witness these young men and women, I am absolutely moved beyond words as I appreciate their moxie and their maturity as they enlist to serve our country and preserve our liberty. Ladies and gentlemen, please join me in thanking all of our servicemen and women, but especially these young men and women in this Sunflower seems the perfect snack for watching your team on, so stop by the concession stands and snag a bag of Big's Jumbo Fire Roasted Sunflower Seeds and taste for yourself why a bigger seed is a better seed every time. Here's tonight's starting lineup for the visiting Laredo Labors. Leading off number seven, the shortstop, Jim Bohinga. Batting second, number nine, the first baseman. Mike Sheridan. Batting third. Number 30, the third baseman, John Allen. Batting fourth, number 44, the center fielder, Sawyer Carroll. Batting fifth, number 22, the left fielder, Palmer Carr Jr. Batting sixth, number 33, the right fielder, John Gaston. Batting seventh, number 18, second baseman, Harrison Kane. Batting eighth, the pitcher, number 12, Garrett Brown. At nine, the catcher, number 20, Garrett Boucher. And the starting pitcher tonight for the Lingers is number 12, Garrett Brown. The Laredo Lingers.
starting lineup for your Kansas City Chibos. Please remain standing, remove your caps, and face the American flag as we honor America with the singing of our national anthem. Tonight's anthem will be performed by the Director for Military Human Resources at Fort Leavenworth, Master Sergeant Stephanie Clark.